Amen. With just faith on Jesus and being saved is not enough. Amen. Amen. In our everyday life and our walk and our talk, we've got to have faith. Amen. And these are the three different areas that it's a lot. I, I did a lot of research. So everything that I say is not my words, but it's good word. Amen. Amen. And I can't say it from memory, so whatever I read it and you all pay attention, because it's going to be something to bless you. There are three phases that I want to talk about. I'm going to try to talk about just the first phase today. The first phase of faith believes when there are favorable emotions. Y'all understand what I think when things are all right. And whenever, when you feel like it, you got the faith. Amen? Yeah. When there's nothing really, when things are really rough, you know, you got the faith. And then the second is believing when there is an absence of a feeling. Have you ever had that to happen to you? You don't know how to feel, what to feel, when to feel, where to go. Oh, I have mercy. And the third form of faith believes that God and his word, and this is the most important one, that God and his word, when circumstances, emotions, appearances, people, and human reason all urge you to do another way, go another way, do it arbitrarily. Amen. Mm -hmm. So today I just want to talk about the emotions, uh, the favor, you know, favorable faith when, when dealing with emotion. Uh, the whole matter of Christian living is simply one issue, and that is believing God. Yeah, I said that at the beginning. The very first thing, we, if we want to be a Christian, we got to believe God. Yeah. And these are very familiar scriptures. The first scripture is Mark 11th chapter, the 12th through the 14th verse. And then I'll skip and read down through the 24th. Now, the next day, when Jesus had come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing from a farm fig tree having leaves, he went to see if perhaps he could, would find something on it. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. In response, Jesus said to it, let no one eat fruit from you ever again. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of mood Jesus was in. <laughs> but he was upset with that fig tree. <laughs> Amen. That, that must have been the human side, right? Yeah. Jesus both human and divine. Yeah. And that human side rose up. Don't you know that sometimes, no matter how saved you are, it'll rise up, won't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And his disciples heard it. And now in the morning, as they pass by, this is coming back, you know, different time, around the 20-some verse. They saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, remembering, said to him, Rabbi, look, mm -hmm. the fig tree which you curse has withered away. So we got to be careful what we say, even when we don't really mean it. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because the power of God, what comes out of you, if it's the Spirit of God, it will come forth. Ah, oh, yeah. See, I, I like it when the Lord just give me stuff, you know, that I need to study and think about. You know, when you, you know it's the Spirit of the Lord. When He tell you something. Amen. Oh! Glory, hallelujah. Amen. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. For assuredly, definitely, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, he's giving him a, 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 a lesson here, and the mountain must be a mountain, and the mountain doesn't necessarily have to be the dirt, the hills, or whatever, but there are mountains in our lives, amen? amen. And if it's not a mountain, it seems like a mountain. 
If your toe is hurt real bad, it feels like a mountain, right? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, be, uh, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that those things he said will be done, he will have whatever he says. Amen. I think about Pastor Martha Johnson. She loved these scriptures. And that whatever we ask in his name, Brother Cook, he said it shall be done. Amen. It shall be done. Therefore, I say to you, Whatever things you ask when you pray. All right. All we got to do is what? Believe that you receive them and you will have them. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, there's a, a, a writer, his name is Dr. R.K. Hughes. He sounds a warning as he cites the following. Uh, and he says, uh, this is something that he said, he said, it's sort of a, a little chant or back and forth talking. And he says, name it and claim it. Yes. That's what faith's about. Mm -hmm. uh, can you have what you want if you just have no doubt? So make out your wish list and keep on believing. <laughs> and you'll find yourself perpetually seeing. Did y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. I like that. I think I'll say that again. Amen. Name it and claim it. That's what faith's all about. You can have what you want if you just have no doubt. So make out your wish list. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We got no we else. We are wishing for what? Some more parishioners. <laughs> Amen. And you will find yourself perpetually receiving. Mm -hmm. Now, on the other hand, some Christians uh, say we should live uh, like the Lord. Amen? And how did Jesus live when he was here on the earth? Uh, who didn't worry much. He didn't worry much, right? About his room or his board. Right? He did, they said the Son of Man had no worry. What, to lay his head, amen? Mm -hmm. But we know our Bibles say he became what? Why was he going like this? He was rich. Oh, my Lord. He could have had a throne down here on this earth. Amen. Uh, I mean, it could have been gold, diamonds, jasper, whatever. But he became poor. Hallelujah. He, came, he became poor that we might live. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, so he could, he, he did this in order to make us have what we need to enrich us Amen. and to give us some more and more and more. Amen. Hallelujah. Another writer says, faith is not a sense nor sight, nor reason, but uh, taking God at his word. Mm -hmm. That's what we got to do. If it says it in the word, well, we got to claim it, all right? Mm -hmm. Mark eleven twenty four 24 says, therefore I say unto you, whatever things you ask when you pray, mm -hmm. believe that you receive them mm -hmm. and you will have them, amen? Amen. Another writer, Dr. Morgan, says faith is quantifiable. And that means that it can be measured, right? So one person's faith is turbocharged while another just sputters <laughs> on the cylinder. <laughs> Amen. I, I don't want to have that kind of faith, do you? As Jesus ministered, he seemed to be interested in the quality of faith. Hallelujah. We got to have a whole lot of faith, y'all. Being exercised by those he encountered. So there are degrees of faith, you know? 
Because he talked about a little bit of faith. There's a grain of mustard seed, but there is always something in there. And Jesus richly rewards those who fully trust him. So we've got to trust in the Lord. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So I want, we're going to talk about one. I don't know if I'm going to get through this all or not. I, I feel like I've said enough to get y'all excited. <laughs> Did I give a good introduction? <laughs> but it is important, my friends, that we have the faith. Uh, have the faith that we need. And a lot of times we just don't realize how much uh, faith we have. But we, we forget about it. We pray and we say it. But I mean, sometimes we just got to really get down into the word and review it. Yes. Yes, I, I know that's what I had to do. And I, I know that I believe. But I tell you one thing. Uh, I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to end this. I'm going to talk about this again. But I want to talk about it when there are more people. Because I, I just feel like it needs to be taught. Amen. It needs to be taught. And Amen. you all are some of the strongest Christians I got. Because y'all... <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, God. <laughs> so some of the weak ones that are not here, they need to hear it. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and, and so the next it says believing God with assistance of feeling. It, you know you got it. You can't believe God with your feelings. All right. Amen. So that's and I want to talk about that. So believing God with your feeling. You might feel one way, but you can't believe God. You can't believe God with your feelings. Mm -hmm. and, and but but that's not. Totally nullified. It, it, it's better to have some faith yes. than to have no faith. Is that all right? Yes. Amen. I, I, I'm gonna leave it right there. <laughs> Amen. I, I feel good. I don't know why I feel so good, but I, I just feel like the Lord is really impressing upon us to have faith, like He wants us to have. And I tell you one thing that really struck me so bad. I, I want to give you this testimony. And you all will hear me say this again. My cousin was traveling from Greensboro, North Carolina. I could cry now, but I'm not. And he had an aneurysm, a stroke while he was there. He barely made it to the hospital. And when he got to the hospital, the doctor said, that's it, you know, and you know, I don't know, I don't know what kind of frame of mind I was in, but I don't, in fact, my family members were there, I don't know what we were talking about, I can't testify for any of them, but myself, mm -hmm. and you know, the doctor said that he wasn't going to make it, and after a while, the next morning, El Wilson was there, they, they wanted to take his organs because they said he was brain dead. And you know, I, I, I just accepted, I don't know where I was. I rebuked myself later on. I said, Shirley, where were you? I guess the Lord just brought it to my attention. You know, I said, you didn't even, did you, how did you pray? Did you talk to the Lord or did you just believe what the doctor said? And I knew better than that. And I told God, I said, if it happens ever again, I will never be in that state. You hear me? And when Brother Reggie was up there at the hospital and they were talking about he was going to leave this, 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 I said, Lord, I know that the power is in your hands. Amen. And I'm going to keep on holding on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I know that when we really get sincere and talk to the Lord, he will move things. Hallelujah. In our lives, our children and everything, we got to start calling the names out. Hallelujah. Get serious about it. Because we got too many of them. 
but I know I have testimonies, but I'm not going to go through all my testimonies. But God is a healer. Amen. He's a healer of body, soul, and mind. All right? And so I know that God will make a way somehow. Because I, I don't have a big intermediate family. I have a sister, nephew, cousins. Ella Wilson's like my brother. Ella Johnson's like my brother. So I don't have a whole lot. A lot of y'all have more, many, many more siblings and everything. I only have one sister and one nephew. And I want you to know, my nephew couldn't get a job. You get a job. He could get it because he could talk very well. He could sell himself very well. But it was something about the skills. And his mental ability wouldn't allow him to keep that job. And my sister got so frustrated. And I asked Elder Wilson, and I thought I got me some help. <laughs> I called Elder Jarrison, and I said, y'all pray <laughs> that my nephew get a job.
faith is in our emotions. Lord, help us to look beyond that and claim the work done because you said so. In Jesus' name, we pray.